Welcome to this episode of Moon Bats. Just, you're gonna wanna watch this one. It's gonna be good. It's real good, I promise. All right, you're gonna wanna watch this one because I'm here with, wait, I'll tell you who he is in a second. Wait, no, you tell. <laughs> Who are you? Who am I? Uh, this is take two of our uh, <laughs> ongoing saga two, year, two years later. I am, uh, I am Dan from uh, the uh, also known as Rebuilt One uh, Histoire du Matal. Um, that's it, I guess, at this point. Yeah. Probably, if you don't anyone who, who cares will probably yeah, know who I am. <laughs> and if you don't, well, welcome. Now you know. Yeah. So it's going to be up here, or maybe it's going to be over his head. I don't really remember where the links go on yeah, YouTube. Yeah, I don't know that You at have all. no idea. Um, but anyways, I'll put a link here to the playlist that this video will be on. But Dan is writing a book. What's the deal with your book? Quick, quick, like, I want the 30-second what's the deal with the book. I'm writing, I'm, I'm in the midst of quite a few projects right yeah. now. I'm spread yeah. out, but uh, there's... The first, there's a, a, two books. One's a long-term book okay. that is uh, still very much in the works. The other one is approaching, uh, you know, the, the, the put-together line uh, with, with the publisher. That is the history of what we're going to be covering today. The uh, patches, crests, whatever you want, logos yeah. of uh, many of the... 600 clubs or so that existed between 1950 and 2000 okay. in Quebec. So okay, it's so just we're going Quebec all clubs. The way 50 years. We're doing 50 years. All right. Um, as many clubs, it's basically an encyclopedia covering yeah. basic details about each club, the existence yeah. of them, and whenever possible, the actual uh, photo of their crest. Okay. And so of their cuts or their of their cuts or their colors, or whatever, or whatever you want to call it. Call it yeah. um, right now, I'd say up to about of the six hundred, a good four hundred or so photos. Oh yeah. Okay. So, so two thirds of the way, yeah. I know a lot will not be able to be in there. Some yeah. of them, the quality is too garbage yeah. to print. Yeah. But there's a lot, and there's it's certainly um, going to be eye opening. Further down the road, the whole history of how the scene and the culture evolved will um you know will come out but that's a much bigger endeavor i've been working on it for many years yeah. people are bugging me they want to know <laughs> but if you want to write a book faster than me yeah have at it <laughs> and i can't wait to read it so we're gonna do our best to be brief in this video last time we did an interview it was or like this like setup i don't want to call it an interview because it's just me and dan talking yeah, we're just we're, like <laughs> Walter Cronkite is not going to show up and start asking a bunch of in-depth questions. This is just two morons basically showing a bunch of stuff that's kind of cool to us. And hopefully yeah, you. Yeah, and hopefully you. But last time we had about four hours of footage yeah. that I cut down to three 30-minute videos. Yeah. I have no idea how much footage I can get on this camera. So when it runs out, it's when we're it's done. Just gonna be, it's going to be a montage of speed at the end where it's just... just, it's like, yeah, 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 like it's All right, so we're just going to dig right in here. Yeah. Um, I'm an idiot. I have no ba I have basic knowledge of all of this shit. And you're the expert here. So we're just going to start with... Just to give you an idea of what we're like, the, the setup here. We've got a bunch of individual patches, loose Lucy's, as they yeah. like to be called, that you can buy at the Dep, yeah. just thrown around up here exactly. at the top. Yep. And then there's some that are framed down here, and we'll try my, we'll, I'll try my best to put these up in a way where you don't get a glare. Um, I will also try to remember to maybe take a picture of each of these, so that way, if there is a glare when I'm editing it, I'll, I'll superimpose or whatever the... I don't know. We're like, guys, just, we yeah. have a camera now, and like a tripod, yeah. and microphones. See, this yeah. is... Like leaps and bounds better than the last. We did not get any Netflix money for this, so there's the budget is basically a bunch of. You can thank my work for all of this equipment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this is rental gear, uh, borrowed borrowed time, borrowed gear. Uh, so yeah, let's dig in. Let's start with up top. We'll go from this media. Yeah, I guess it's not mean? really in any order. Yeah, but there's I thought, no order. I thought I'd wanted to show, uh, you know, before the guys designed their own patches. Yeah. Before they started getting people to draw them or they decided to really go in on a design. Um, at the time, you could basically, and I'm talking, you know, in the 50s, you could go into shops, mostly sports, um, like sport uniforms or trophy shops. Yeah. And they catered to every type of patch imaginable. Yeah. 
So, so you could get you know, sorry hockey, soccer, yeah. football, <laughs> whatever it was. You know, if you had a company, they could they would make a patch with your name on it. It yeah. was just it was, they would just supply all the patches, and they had what you'd consider like a catalog of patches, things like this, um, which are basically just printed. It's like kind of velour. Oh yeah, what is that? Um, you so know, off. so you'd go in and you'd be like, I want eagle. You know, we're the eagles. <laughs> this is what we want. Um, and then they'd have, you know, a bunch of them. So you'd have this, this, these all date from the, uh, this I'm all. I'm try to bring them in closer so we can see what we're talking about here. There we go. Oh yeah, this is what we're gonna have to do for some of them. Yeah. There's an eagle. And then there's the, this the, is the, the, this is the upgrade yeah. from the other eagle. Yes. <laughs> these, these are all like, you're dating these yeah. like early 60s, mid 60s. Okay. Um, you know, but the, the designs kind of lasted for years. There's obviously I mean, all the as many skulls and you know swords and snakes. The typical fair they had wild ones, all sorts of things that were just biker or you know badass related. If you saw some guy with this at Born Free, you wouldn't be like, where the hell did that guy come from? You'd be like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah, he's totally eagle, he's, e he's totally eagle, eagle scout. Guy. Eagle scout. <laughs> uh, this one is another one that I just thought was pretty fucking cool. Yeah, because Here, bring it in close. The, you know, <laughs> I'm assuming it's you know late '60s. Just by the the color, yeah. you know, so a, a, chill. a poor man's um, what was <laughs> it, rat, rat fink, you know, a yeah. little bit little poor man's Ed Roth copy. Yeah. But that style was very popular, kind of hits all the uh, all the boxes on that one. Yeah. Then um, you know, then this is another one of the same. This is a little okay. club. I don't really know much about these yeah. guys. Uh, again, this I think this one's actually pretty cool. I like this one. Late, uh, you know, late '60s MC. when things really started to get rolling. And everyone had a club, um, so this one. I don't know if you were in this and you're still alive. Yeah, let me know. If if you have any like uh, direct, we, I don't. We don't need to know lore. I don't want hearsay yeah. or stuff. If you, you have read a direct on, link, like your uncle, your grandfather, your dad, you, anybody was a member of any of these things or has like, oh, I had that. That was mine. Leave a comment in the video, and I, I check the comments always, um, so you can leave them in French too. This will have subtitles. Um, I can respond in French as well. I'm not doing this in French because it will take forever if I do. Plus it kind of goes international, yeah. and you know, even though this is Quebec, you know, there's a lot of people who are interested in this worldwide, yeah. so that kind of covers it. But yeah. anyone who knows me knows I can explain all this in yeah. French as well. Um, I'm not francophone, but I do my best. This is uh, much earlier. Okay. This is a. Uh, it's this on is felt. Really, yeah. This is like. That's a club from about mid fifties. Yeah. The Pirates of Sherbrooke. Yeah. Uh, most of the the old patches at that time okay. were were printed on felt. So um, you know, yeah. pretty pretty neat. I don't know a lot of. The, I mean, anything in the fifties was kind of a. Yeah. Um, a derivative of the AMA, which in Canada, the CMA, um, you know, association. So, uh, you know, and again, they were more linked with sports yeah. and, you know, joyriding, things like that. But they all set the, the stage for what would come later with the, the interest or the, uh, I should say, the influence of, uh, of California. Yeah. Because that is where this really all, you know, the outlaw kind of um, vision came from there without a doubt. Complete side note, yesterday I saw a award from the AMA from 1958 at a booth. I gotta remind remind me. Of a, like a, from a race here probably? Yeah, a race or like, yeah. a, it was like long haul. I don't remember what it said okay. exactly. But there was a lot, yeah, there was a, we, had, we had a lot of clubs in the, even dating back to the teens. Oh yeah. In Quebec that, um, before the CMA even existed, because they didn't come around until the early 50s, I believe. Okay. So a lot of them had kind of ties with the AMA. Okay because that was all that existed. Yeah. And they wanted to have sanctioned races, they wanted to be able to go to races in yeah. the States, so that's how they, they kind of uh, came around. So there's a, definitely a, a, a parallel universe for that. Um, it's like the spider, <laughs> we're gonna get, I'm gonna get <laughs> cease and desist on so many things I'm referencing in this video. <laughs> Probably, uh, that'll, that'll, I'll go, okay. So then, you know, what else you've got here? These guys, um, as you can see, yeah. maybe you want to hold that guy yeah, here, up. I'll hold this one up. Let's Real. see if we can get, oh, this is heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Uh, wait, uh, there we go, okay, here, you know what? I'll bring it in close and we'll okay. do half and half. So there's Escape Hell, 
And there's this guy. There's the little, where did that go? That, These that are shoulder one. patches. Okay. And the, the, the reasoning behind this is because when the guys were out um, in the winter, or they were wearing heavier jackets, these went on the shoulders so that you knew that they were still in the club. Oh yeah, okay. It was kind of like to identify that I am, you know, in this in, in, in this particular club. Yeah. So these ended up on a lot of leather jackets. Okay. They ended up on a lot of, you know, any kind of I mean, all season jacket that you'd be wearing. Um, you'd sometimes have this and then you're cut over it. Okay. But this basically meant in the winter time when you weren't wearing, yeah. you know, uh, just a cut off that people still knew where, where you, you were at. Yeah. Here's another one for the from the black spiders. Okay. Um, which we can kind of yeah. link to the other ones. Yeah, afterwards. we'll go to the but other that's, one. uh, So these are the two versions of Escape Hell. Like we in the other video, Dan definitely went through this a lot. Yeah. Uh, the the like history of this. This was the first one. Yeah. This was the second one. Okay. They became another club afterwards, yeah. and so on. Cool. Um, um, so <clears throat> let's do the black spider. Do you have a black spider one? Yep. And then we'll hold them both up so you can people can see. Oh, this is a nice one. I like this one. This is uh, I got two. Okay, you got two. Okay, so I'll hold up one because my wrist is still jacked up. Um, so there's one. It's a uh, black spider contra cool, and it's got a cockroach. <laughs> is that a cockroach on it? it no, it's supposed to be a spider. But <laughs> it looks like a cockroach. The draw, yeah, the drawing isn't uh, <laughs> didn't, didn't work out so well. <laughs> this is the this is the original one. Okay. Um, so this has no spider. Yeah. Um, and this is the shoulder patch. Okay. That they would Here, have I'll had hold this at one the up time. A little closer so you can see it. Uh, maybe. Anyways. Yeah. It's hard to tell because the screen I'm looking at on this guys is like yeah. two inches tall. So. <laughs> so yeah. So this this is um, obviously you know silk screened. Yeah. Um, and this is the first. So was this this was on someone's jacket that's been cut off? No, nope, they that always that put it on felt. Oh yeah, green okay. felt. So they had the you know the patch. Yeah. Um, and then and then stitched onto okay. this thicker felt. Okay. Because it would last longer. Yeah, yeah. And then you know and then you had these okay. the, then the the design obviously printed onto so, the. So but, bring this in here. See whereas here. whereas if you go to this guy, which is yeah. later on, um, this is the all well coveted. Uh, chenille stitching, uh, much more durable. Everyone pretty much that lasted switched over, um, you know, I'd say mostly in the mid 70s. This is very yeah. expensive. Even now, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy yeah. now. At the time, it was still expensive. Yeah. But in the in the 70s, you know, they they, they redesigned it with our friend here. <laughs> and uh, and then, so then they, you know, they decided, all right, we're going to, but this this set back then, I think, cost... Sixty, seventy dollars okay. yeah. in so nineteen seventy four. Like, yeah. So do the math. That's you know all of your Bitcoin. <laughs> Just we're going to only reference Bitcoin from now on. Hopefully they'll sponsor us. They'll <laughs> Bitcoin, please sponsor. <laughs> Send me some of your coins. This is our sponsor me video. Okay. Uh, and then I guess real quick we can just show yeah. some people's. Some people's wanna, names. Some people's names. Okay, so we have, I'll show you here, we have Piston and Viewpaca. 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 Like alpaca, but old. It was actually Paca dust, like paca old, dust. old bag of bones. Oh, is that what, okay. That's what it really yeah. refers to. Cool. Um, and then you've got, that's a striker that's a patch. striker patch. So a striker is a prospect in Quebec. Right. And then, yep. And yeah. then this is the Escape Hell, um, that club that we showed earlier. Yeah. Had, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Mom. It's honorary member. Okay. Basically, this is the, you know, the hang around patch, the, okay. uh, the support, whatever you want to call it, patch before that really existed. Because the support stuff is you know, tends to be into the 70s when it started okay. to come around. This is earlier than that or just, you know, yeah. predates it in a way. And this was basically you were a friend of the club. You weren't in, but you were still kind of covered no one's by gonna, Yeah, no one's going to mess with you. Exactly. You that. Unless it's one of the other guys who's in the, the other, one. other club. <laughs> um, those will show after. Yeah. Uh, and then I got this one's a little bit later, but okay. this... Um, this is kind of represents yeah. 
Uh, it's called Bikers Quebec. This was founded uh, by a deceased buddy of mine, Piston, who actually, yeah, you know, I held up like inherited that. quite a few of his patches. Um, but this was his club started in 96, and okay. it basically just, they had many, many chapters, but this is kind of once the MC is no longer really permitted in Quebec, um, associations came along, yep. riding clubs. So that's what you get with that. Um, cool. I'll put this over here. Okay. And I guess we'll go through these frames while they're out. Yeah. So we've and got we've gotten those those we have this one and these. We do this so. guy. This is yeah. again. I just we've already shown this one, but yeah. this is uh, Le Québécois, an early club. Um, the two know, hands. This is two hands, like yeah, like duo. brotherhood kind yeah. of, showing off with a chain around it. Art styling. Um, they had three chapters founded in the mid '60s. Um, these guys were at the Laconia riot in 65. Um, they, you know, were pretty badass, actually, given the time. They got into a lot of bar wrecking. Um, <laughs> seemed to be the, uh, you know, they, and so they were, you know, I mean, by outlaw, you know, uh, standards, I guess they pale. But when you're talking 1966, you're rolling in, in Quebec, and trashing a bar and everyone goes to jail or you're fighting cops like a squad of cops not yeah. just one you're you know you're in it pretty much so again this one's this is an early patch and this is chenille so yeah. this is like these dudes really had some you know they cared they cared to, yeah. to get this printed because this was not cheap and it was um you know not everyone did this yeah. at the time this, this is probably one of the earliest versions of a chenille stitch patch from a Quebec club. I can't really think of another one that came out around this time. Okay. Um, then, uh, I guess since we're on that, I don't know anything about this club. So again, if you, if you do, know, yeah, um, comment. <laughs> this may be from Ontario. This, um, it did come out of Quebec, but no one that I know had ever heard of them. Again, chenille stitch. Very cool triumph patch. Um, so if you're from Ontario and you know these guys, reach out. Let me know. Piston um, busters. But a uh, very cool patch. Um, you know, I do focus on Quebec, but I am slowly, by default, kind of creeping into the rest of Canada, whether I like it or not, just because it's it's kind of happening. Yeah. Well, it's all intertwined, right? You got guys traveling, going back and forth. Yeah. Clubs influencing each other. Clubs. How like one, you know. I'm sure we'll get into some history about <laughs> Montreal. This one, was, Ontario uh, affected it. This one we it. we showed, but I'll show it again because I love it. Yeah, this is one of my favorites that you've got. Death Riders, Laval, and again one of the early, um, you know, the first wave of Quebec clubs um, in Montreal or surrounding area, uh, founded in '66. These guys. Yeah. So it says "Live to Ride, Ride to Live." 13 MC MTL 69. Just in case, I don't know if you can read these, but. That's and again. Um, printed on, um, you know, printed on canvas, yeah. but with stitched onto the felt underneath okay. for support. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is this is a pretty rad one. This yeah. is a long-lasting club. They later became um, support, or one of the probably the first support club for the Hell's Angels um, in Quebec by association. And although they predate them by several years, uh, by many years actually, yeah. but um, yeah, they, they were very sick. they were tied in with them quite quite <coughs> early on. Um, we did that. We did that. Let's um, this one. These these ones are kind of cool. I don't know yeah. if I, I showed this. Yeah, one. I remember this one. This one was a good okay. one. I like this one. Also, I've just noticed in the video, my head is chopped off at all of it. So yeah, it's good. It's, my just, mouth. it's just your mouth talking, but you're the, the key here is the the. Is the information? It's not yeah. about. It's not about that. Yeah. So we don't need to see Dan. He's ugly anyway. Exactly. <laughs> this this is uh, this was a uh, in '69 in, in Montreal. They created the uh, MUQ, the MUQ, which was an association of all the clubs um, that were um, kind of the first wave in Quebec at the time um, and you know the Popeyes the Death Riders Hot Pistons 
uh, Playboys, uh, the uh, the Gorillas, uh, well, the Cobras. And those are like a, you know a good dozen or You're so. Just naming bands, like uh, weird. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can, yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, so that was the junior version, the what they call the BC, the Bicycle Club, yeah. that was created as an offshoot because all these little kids, teenagers, aspired to be bikers, didn't couldn't make it because they're 14, 15. Um, and so the MOOC created this as a kind of, uh, as, a, as a junior program, as a, okay. um, you know. Bring people in younger. Yeah, and just kind of steer them. I mean, the, the whole point of the, uh, because the, uh, the, the MOOC was um, funded by the government okay. so and overseen prevention. by a cop, a cop yeah. that was actually accepted by the bikers because he was a decent dude. So by by those standards, <laughs> but uh, but anyways the um, the uh, so you know this was a another government program, not you know, this wasn't created. This isn't like the uh, the clubs at the times like the Popeyes and uh, the Devil's Disciples and stuff that had their own junior BC yeah. clubs. This was a this was created as a youth outreach type okay. of program, but again dealing with bikers because the phenomenon was huge and everyone was very much into it. This, you're essentially looking at the, um, the early days of street gangs in Montreal and not what you'd think of street gangs now. Back then, just kids on yeah. foot. On Wait, so what year range was that then? The this was 1969. 69, okay. They only lasted for uh, two years. Okay, cool. Um, just to give... Yeah. Reference here because you've got the ones that are starting in the 50s is really yeah we're kind of jumping around here I'm yeah not no really it's all good it yeah we're not chron chronological yeah. doesn't matter no. <laughs> uh, then this these are uh, here, I'll hold these up closer here these are Hell's Machine Hell's Commando Hell's was a big word obviously the Hell's Angels you know influenced lots of people there we go you, you got it I got it yeah. um, and this is about 1974 or so. These were guys that were just around the corner in my neighborhood that, um, you know, again, these are street gangs, yeah. basically, that, that none of them rode. They all were, you know, on foot or on stolen cars yeah. or, you know, uh, in a bicycle, you know, on a bicycle. And there was, you know, dozens and dozens yeah. of them in the city. It was so basically imagine the Warriors, but in Montreal. Basically, but not a movie. Not, not a movie. <laughs> but still. <laughs> same, uh, same concept. Yeah, the same concept. So, yeah. it, you know, and if you know anything about New York City at the time in the 70s, there's a huge lineage of uh, street gangs in the Bronx and yeah. all, the, all the boroughs. So this is kind of like the Montreal yeah. variant. They also had other ones in other parts of the province. Yeah. But Montreal had a lot of them. And some of them were huge. And they were also... Quite a few of them were extremely violent, yeah. more so than the bikers, to the point where some of the biker clubs um, kind of got rid of their own uh, bicycle clubs because they were bringing so much heat. Because oh, these yeah. kids had no fear, they were 14 years old, <laughs> and, 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 and they would, yeah, they would steal and they would kill. Yeah. You know, and so not these guys, yeah. but there are many that were. So yeah. you, you you really kind of had to uh, be careful. Um, that then I think we got one more here this is I don't know if I had this one last time uh, I don't remember but it's a good one this I've is, seen it but this is a very uh, a, a, a well-known oh yeah look at that you can stand back there and be blurry it's good. Oh, a well-known <laughs> a, a well-known club uh, a very big club in the Saguenay Lac Saint Jean area uh, or, or of the province they had many chapters and um, this was a very short-lived one that uh, they're not too happy to know that, that, that this exists because oh. this basically came out of a, a very brief war with another club. Okay. Um, and it only lasted about a year. Okay. Um, this is the only one that exists. Okay. And it was just kind of, you know. Um, it's yours now. It's, it's <laughs> mine, but it is, it, is a, it is a part of a history. I don't have, yeah. you know, they, they had many other chapters, but this was a short-lived version. Yeah. Of, of, it was a grouping of a couple other clubs that got together at the time um, to create this chapter. It didn't work out. Yeah. And, you know. So this kind of stuff, the history of this specific, like this thing, this will be in the book. 
Oh yeah. This is so. This is like this is the stuff we can't really get into in the video because it's just it's too long. It's too long, and it's like yeah. Yeah, but the the details of yeah. how this came about, you know, and how it fell apart yeah. are are all there. You know, uh, this is not all secrets. Yeah. But a lot of it is. Yeah. So you kind of uh, you know you're mixing both. Yeah. Uh, let's do this last one over here. Asbestos. Yeah, you, you can show. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I think okay. I would. I don't know if I showed that one last. I don't time, know. But. We did. I don't remember. I don't recognize this one, but maybe you did. So this one says Marauders. It's only the uh, the, the picture there is for reference of the full patch. Okay. All I have is the top rocker. So there's the full patch. I'll try and put a picture of this one because it's really. I can't tell if you can see anything. Yeah. Um, but uh, <laughs> there it is. Asbestos. Um, you know, a pretty pretty heavy hitters at the time. A few guys later on. Um, Prospect and joined the Hells Angels once that club most of these clubs um, You know fell apart around 78 79 Okay, um, and then members moved on a lot of people just moved on with their life. Yeah, and didn't really bother um, You know keeping up or joining a new club Cool. So is that all the Lucy's that we're gonna That's go through? There's one more. I don't know if you want to cover that one later uh, yeah, we'll, we'll cover that one when I do this. Yeah, because okay. it's kind of all the same era. Okay, cool. So um, what we might do here is, this might be part one of the video, because if I don't edit it at all, you just talk for 25 minutes, and I think that's a good length for to like break this up a little bit. All right, so, so let's, let's just cut it here. Let's cut it here. I'm gonna move this shit. We're gonna move this stuff out of the way. We're gonna make this a little less treacherous, so that way yeah. we don't knock things over and break stuff. But. Like, subscribe, and you're going to have to pay attention because this is going to be a multi-part series, clearly. Um, and I want to do as little editing as possible. <laughs> so that way, A, we get as much of what Dan has to say, and also, yeah, like, just play, you know? Um, anyways, like, subscribe. The next video will be coming out soon. I'll probably put these out pretty quickly. Um, and we're going to cover more stuff, and you're going to see it. So, bye.